Hi everyone, I'm playing Perfect World today. A few years ago, I uh, tried playing and unfortunately I got stuck in a tree. I reported it and after a month I was still stuck in a tree, so I gave up, but I decided to try again. Well, I got through the beginner area and I'm now working in the main area, obviously. And I came across these little creatures. I don't know if you can tell, but they kind of look like evil elf babies riding praying mantises. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear anything, but I'm going to try anyway, because there's something about these characters that kind of disturbs me. And yes, I could use the hotkeys, I just don't like to. I don't know if you can hear that, but every time I hit this NPC with a character, or with a, any magic, or, well, any kind of attack, it giggles like a baby. <laughs> what kind of person makes a character that resembles a baby giggling every time you heard it? FYI, children do not like being hurt. They really don't. They actually really, really, really don't like being hurt. They don't like being abused. They don't like being hit. So having a character that looks and sounds like a baby and is happy when they're being killed is not actually a good thing. It's actually quite disturbing. I don't understand why they would make a character that looks and sounds like a baby when you're killing them. Not just a baby. I mean, it's not even a baby in pain. It's a baby giggling and happy that it's being killed. I don't understand it. And it's very disturbing to me to have a character that looks and sounds like a happy baby being killed. Honestly, right now, I'm trying to decide if I want to continue this game because I know I'm not the only one that would find this disturbing. And I'm betting most people just decided, oh, well, I'm just not going to play it because it disturbs me. But here's the problem with just walking away from a, something like this. When you walk away, the problem doesn't go away. The problem doesn't get fixed. People don't understand how it changes their way of thinking. One of my sisters plays this game and she really likes it. And to be honest, she's not the best person in the world. And seeing this makes me worry. It makes me worry a lot because she has problems. I'm just going to leave it at that because I, I really shouldn't say anymore. And I won't even say which sister. And I'm hoping you guys don't even figure out who I am so that, well, I won't get in hot water for this. Let's just say that my sister might not be the best parent in the world. She might be very much like our mother, which well, isn't a good thing. If she plays something like this and she's hearing and seeing something that looks like a baby being happily destroyed, it can cause some problems. It might even cause problems for people who don't possibly have already a predisposition to this. I do actually have a psychology degree, which is one of the reasons that this does disturb me, knowing that stimulus like this can cause many different problems. I don't care if gamer dudes have a problem with this video. I don't care if you call me anything you want, go for it. I don't care what you call me. I don't care that you have a problem that I have a problem with this. I see it as a problem and I'm, I'm hoping that everyone who sees it as a problem, everyone who quit the game because they felt it was a problem and everyone who feels it's a problem now, please 
tell Perfect World that you're uncomfortable with it. That's all you have to do. Just game game companies want you to like and feel comfortable with their games. The more people like their games, the more revenue they have coming in. That means that if enough of their players say, I'm uncomfortable with this, then the only logical thing to do is change it so that they can get more money coming in. They're greedy. They want money. So when you have a problem, tell the game. Ask others if they have a problem. Tell the game. Because the only way games can get any better is if every single person that has a problem with a game, especially something like this, tells them. When they decided to fire pretty much every single game tester on the planet, it is now up to you. Games will not get any better unless the people who play them flat out tell them, I'm uncomfortable with this. Don't be afraid to tell them. Tell them how you feel about the game. Don't be mean. Using cuss words probably won't help, but I will admit I've done it occasionally because some of these issues just way over the top. And usually I don't start cursing until after they completely blow me off. So just remember that game, dudes, when you try to post mean things about this video. I fight back. And I admit, I'm the B word. And I don't back down. So... Anything you say, just remember, I have actually made a guy pee his pants just yelling at him. I'm still shocked that I did it, especially seeing who it was, but I, I seriously, he was my boss at the time, and I didn't think he, well, I didn't think he, he couldn't handle that. So, I, I've actually made a guy pee his pants yelling at him before, which was very surprising to me. But it's possible. I'm very good at it. <laughs> very direct. And when I argue, I'm usually right. <sighs> Not surprising. But please, when you ha play a game, if you have a problem with it, please just say, <sighs> even if the chat on this game is very sexual quite a bit, it's a little bit weird. Sexuals, yeah, you, there's not really much you can do. Although, being able to separate those chats would be very nice. But having a character that s sounds and looks like a happy baby being killed, not really the best thing in the world. It's kind of bad idea. But, again, don't be afraid to tell game companies how you feel. Yeah, you need to take a breath because a lot of times they ignore you. But if enough people are sitting there saying they have a problem with something on there, they generally try to fix it. Even the rotten companies. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about too. Mm. Just try. Please try. It's really important for everyone. Otherwise... Have fun gaming. There's a lot of wonderful games out there. You never know what you're going to find.